With the release of Pixelmon 3.0 coming earlier this week, tons of servers and players have started new worlds. This leads to an influx of new starters being chosen. So then the question arises of what are the top 5 Pixelmon starters in the mod right now? Everyone wants to bring their starter throughout all of their journeys. No one wants to see their starter grow old, grow tired, and get replaced by a better Pokemon. So what I'm here to do is hopefully help you make that decision and choose the very best starter. With that, let's get right into the list. So at number 5, we do have Venusaur, and the reason he earned my number 5 spot, despite being the first Pokemon, or Bulbasaur being the first Pokemon, and being my first Pokemon, I actually chose a Bulbasaur in my first playthrough, what he really does that I think is so right is his defense and his offense, which sounds weird. Venusaur has what is, in my opinion, one of the best ratios from offense to defense. He could take a lot of damage, but also deal tons of damage with either Leech Seed or Petal Dance, all these different amazing grass moves, and on top of that, with the new Pixelmon update, his ability overgrow was added, and albeit a lot of the starters did get their abilities added, but Venusaur was a force to be reckoned with before the update, and now, on top of that, with this new ability, which when he's at one-third health, grass moves will do twice as much damage, that is massive for him, he's gonna be a serious force to be reckoned with, and frankly, his typing is quite amazing, having a grass and poison, albeit it's not that uncommon, just having stabs with both poison type moves and a lot of the grass moves make it so much easier and so much more efficient in battling. At number 4, we do have Empoleon, and me and Empoleon, we had a rocky start. It took me up until a few months ago to even learn his name. He was the only Pokemon I didn't choose between my playthroughs of Diamond and Pearl. But don't let any of this dishearten you from Empoleon. He has an amazing 111 special attack, and similar to Venusaur, he has an amazing typing, which gives him 11 resistances. Included in those resistances were Water, Ice, and Dragon, which was huge for Empoleon, because those are the three almost most used Pokemon in Pixelmon right now. One of the only Pokemon super effective against him was a fighting type, and right now in Pixelmon, frankly, fighting types are extremely underrated and underused among that. So on top of Napoleon being a offensive beast, as well as a tanky mother fudger, he also starts out as Piplup, which Piplup was a fan favorite. It's an adorable Pokemon, an adorable little penguin, reminds me of Happy Feet, and all around, I really do like him quite a bit. And having an awesome, nice, cute starter really does enhance the further ability as you want to keep them around, and you definitely want to see where they go as they evolve. And that is why Napoleon earned my number 4 spot. At number 3, we do have Swampert. For what seemed to become a common theme in this list, he's here mainly because of his typing. He is a very unique water and ground type, so that means the primary counter for water types, which is electric, is completely negated due to its inability to attack ground type Pokemon. As a result of this, Swampert is only weak to one type, grass. And that's really it. The only reason Swampert's this high on the list is his stats and typing are better than the other guys. There's no super secret special move that Swampert has that makes him so much better, it's just he got the luck of the draw. He'll outperform all the other water Water starters and many of the other grass starters and even a few of the fire starters and for that he earns a number three spot and at number two we do have infernape so this is the part of the list where it actually became kind of a struggle for me the number one and number two spot which obviously was won by infernape were really hard they're both really really strong pokemon and i almost couldn't decide between which would be one and two so you could almost interchange these two i do recommend both of these pokemon obviously you only know what one of them are right but where infernape shines is as an attack and special attack they both sit at a very high and very cool 104 each which honestly isn't that impressive there are even a few fire starters with stats higher than this but what infernape really shines with is his speed with 108, he can outspeed many Pokemon that as long as they're not electric type. That, toppled with his fire and fighting typing, allows him to use some extremely high power moves such as close combat, flare blitz, and frankly any other fire move out there. This turns him into almost a smart bomb. He can come in, hit really fast, and get out really fast also. He doesn't have the best defenses, but again, that's really where you want him. You want him to be in and out really quickly, being able to outspeed many other Pokemon and do extremely high amounts of damage very quickly. This allows him to cripple many teams and be quintessential to taking out certain speedy Pokemon. And that that is why you earned my number 2 spot. So with the number one spot, we do have Blaziken being just added in the 3.0 update. I really think this is the best possible starter choice as he just has amazing stats. He hits harder than Infernape, and that's really why he earned the number one spot over him. He's slower, the damage differences allow him to do much more damage and even absorb some of the attacks from other Pokemon. This, toppled with his high jump kick, really allow him to just cripple teams and do extremely high amounts of damage. Plus, Torchic's awesome. I mean, there's no real debating that. Torchic is an awesome Pokemon, awesome model, and all around, Blaziken is really just a well-rounded, really good strong Pokemon. Also, the only Pokemon to ever get in the Uber tier in competitive Pokemon playing, not Pixelmon related, but I just thought it added in, and that is why you're in the number one spot. 
So with that, I do hope I help you guys at least a little bit in deciding what your first Pokemon will be following this update and following many of these server resets that I'm sure are going to be coming as many more of the servers update. Unfortunately, none of the Gen 5 Pokemon made it onto here, but frankly, the starters in that gen just kind of suck. There are other good Pokemon, but not the starters. I had a lot of fun making this video, and I hope it reflected in the content itself. And then what I'm going to be trying to do is for the month of February, so you may be watching this way after that, but for the, at least February, I'm going to be trying to upload a top 5 or top 10, whatever it may be for the rest of the month. So that's 8 days left, as this is the 20th. Hopefully we'll be able to pull that off. We've had an awesome server launch and an awesome time playing the new update. So hopefully I can see you all in game and hopefully we can check out some of those Blazikins and battle me and hopefully I'll kill you with my Swamperts. So yeah, see you all next time. Bye.